Hello, this is Rob. Um, I have a website, farmerfatdudes.com, and I've been starting to play with the little YouTube thing here a little bit. Actually, I started a little while ago. I did a couple of cooking videos, um, and then a thing on why you don't drink what you eat. And I got a new net book here a little while back, and so I thought I'd try to start doing this whole update thing. Um, I guess I'd start, I figured I'd start off by giving a little background on my whole journey. Uh, it's February 28th, actually it's March 1st, it's after midnight now, but um, I'm about a week shy of being 11 months post-op, and I am down, well, I started this whole thing in November of 2008 when I started looking into the surgery. Um, I started then, my recorded weight with my doctor was 377. Um, I kind of used 380 as sort of my starting point because I'm pretty sure I was probably at least 380 at some point. If, well, I don't want to think about any higher than that. Um, my first time with the surgeon was 372 or 373. Uh, by the time I had my surgery in April, April 8th of 2009, I was down to 322. And as of yesterday, I was at 194. Um, if you do the math, that's 185 plus pounds. Um, I've been as low as 191. I don't think I've hit 190 yet. Um, I kind of like to get below 190, even if it's just for five minutes. Just because uh, since I use that 380 as a st as a sort of a, my starting point, uh, to get below 190 would put me at half of what I was. <clears throat> you know, it's it's weird. I, I'm going to use that word a lot because this whole thing is. Is kind of weird, uh, in a good way, but the adjustments to it is still really weird. Is the best word, I, easiest word I can use to describe it. Um, yeah, uh, it, it's still I, I'm 11, 11 months out for you know almost 11 months out, and I go back and forth between this face you're looking at right now. I don't recognize. Um, I'll try to put a before picture in here. Um, I've got some new editing software, so hopefully I can slip that in here. And when I started this, I would have thought 250 would have been a great weight to get down to. Two, I mean, I, don't, I hadn't been 250 since maybe before college, or maybe around college time. I don't know. Uh, honestly, I don't keep. I didn't keep track. Um, I, mean, I was in Weight Watchers, well, in grade school, and again when I was a junior in high school. At 194, I bounce around, I mean, I, you know, I kind of bounce around in the mid 190s right now. I'm smaller than I was in high school. I was over, decently over 200 pounds when I was in high school, when I graduated high school, which was 25 years ago now, 1985. Um, I'm smaller than I was then. I, my winter jacket this year, because I didn't want to spend money, I spent so much money on clothes this year, I didn't want to spend money on a winter jacket that I might not be able to wear next year. My winter jacket, for the most part, has been my high school letter jacket, and it fits me better than it did when I was a senior in high school. I mean, it's loose on me. It was snug. I don't, I don't think my senior year, when I wore that thing, I don't think I buttoned it. I can easily button it now. <clears throat> I was probably an XL for shirts and stuff in high school. I, I ballooned up, you know, I was wearing three and four X's. Uh, I bought some shirts yesterday that are mediums. That's weird. It's just, it, it blows my mind. Um, I, don't, I, I mean, I don't think I was a medium in eighth grade. Uh, I remember eighth grade gym. You know, I had the biggest shirt that they had, you know, they gave us gym uniforms. I had the biggest one they had, and it was the shirt was tight on me. And now a medium is, is comfortable. It's weird. Um, so, yeah, uh, it, it's just... And now I'm doing so many things that a year ago I never would have imagined. Um, probably one of the biggest things. A good... Uh, 
last time I flew on a plane, what, well, before just this week, I went, went out in Vegas, but before that was in September 2008 for work, and fly out to Virginia and back for work, and all flights, you know, every plane I was in, I had a seatbelt extender. I got on the plane last week to go to Vegas, I'm walking down those aisles, not even worrying about bumping into the seats, I get into my seat, I pull that seatbelt, snug, you know, not, not too tight, but you know, the way it should be comfortable, I had this much extra belt. I had more extra belt than what the seat belt extenders add to those things. That was weird. Uh, I took a picture of it. I'll try to, uh, like I said, with the editing software, I think I can slip it into here. In Vegas, they have these walkways that go over the intersections for getting around the traffic with escalators and elevators and stairs. Um, when I'm walking around, I'm taking those stairs two at a time, almost effortlessly. Um, you know, I went out there, there was a bunch of people, uh, that's kind of what's getting me now trying to do the YouTube thing, there's a bunch of people from YouTube that organized this, uh, but I got a hold of it through Twitter, some of the same people that are on Twitter, uh, Sarah, hey Sarah, um, she's kind of the one that put the bug in my ear about this, and it kind of worked out with work and stuff, that I was able to go, and then it kind of carried over into Bariatric TV, uh, the folks over there, hey Tony, Linda, Mike, um, then everybody else too, just, I don't want to name too many names because I'll forget somebody. Anyway, um, but when I'm out there, besides just the walking around, I rode, I rode the roller coaster in New York, New York, twice, two times, and didn't even have to think about it. Last time I rode, last time I tried to ride a ride before that was at the Mall of America, um, it was Mighty Axe or something like that, and it's got this shoulder harness that comes down, this big bar thing that comes over the shoulders. I couldn't ride it because the thing wouldn't close enough to click into place. I didn't even think about it when I got on the roller coaster this time. I mean, I, I, knew, it would, I knew it would fit. Because, well, it, well, it's weird because I just knew it would. And it, and it did. I was fine. The worst thing I had since I got no more padding in my face, I, I walked out of there with a sore jaw from rattling against the uh, roll bars. Um, but... And just doing other things out there that I a year ago would have been inconceivable to steal a little wine from uh, Princess Bride there. Just the meeting of the people. I mean, I've, I've met a lot of people from online before through AOL and different stuff, but the things I was doing out there, well, you know, they say what happened in Vegas stays in Vegas. Well, not in my case because there's too much video evidence. Um, and on a dare, I, I walked around the hotel room in heels. Not just any sort of heels. I'll, I'll try to slip a picture of that in here, too. Um, and just meeting a bunch of people that I did, it was just, you know, it was incredible. You know, I miss everybody already. Uh, it was a great time. And I'm looking forward to more opportunities to do stuff like that. Um, and just doing things like the thing with the walk, the heels thing with stuff, as well as taping stuff for Bear Your TV, stuff and, and just taping this stuff I never would have even wanted to think about trying a year ago, because now that I've well I've come out of <laughs> I've come out of my old skin so to speak. Well, it, it, literally and figuratively, I got a whole new level of self-esteem and confidence. It's still not where I think it would like it to be, or where I think it could be, but it's getting there. Um, it's getting there to the point where I can walk around in front of a bunch of strangers in, in stripper heels. Um, but there were still moments, you know, around the crowds that uh, I still kind of pulled back a little bit, and uh, I'm still working on that. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm, it looks... I'm, I'm going to hit the time limit, I think, for up one year here, but that's kind of what I wanted to, I just wanted to kind of give a quick introduction of what, kind of where I'm at right now, where I came from, um, and I've got a lot of ideas on things I'd like to talk about, things I write about for the website, um, and post on the different forums, but I think this will be a good start, uh, I look forward to, um, getting to meet, getting to know more of you guys, especially through the YouTube stuff, and in the hopes of meeting you out in Vegas again next year. So that's it for now. Talk to you guys next time. Bye.